Hello, this is Alvin from Shining3D. Welcome to our class. In this video, I will talk about multi-project alignment. Sometimes it's hard to obtain the point cloud data of the entire model at one time. So multiple and multi-angle scanning is required. While scanning, usually the point cloud data for multiple scan area may overlap. Therefore, alignment is done to obtain identical surface feature based on the repeatedly scanned areas. Through alignment, multiple scan data are combined into a whole set of point cloud data, thereby effectively solving the problem of incomplete data collection. Next, I will show you how does the project alignment make scanning easier. This is the object I will scan. As you can see, if you want complete data, we need to flip it around, which you cannot scan at one time and will cause extra noise points. However, with project alignment, things become easier. First of all, we scan front and side of this object. And generate a point cloud. Then we go to the project list on the left and click add project. This time, we scan bottom and side of this object. Generate point cloud. You may realize that these two projects have overlapping, which is the side of the object. And overlapping is necessary for alignment. Click this align button on the right and go to alignment interface. On the top left side, you will see three options, feature, menu, and markers. Below these three options, you can click project name to pro project into the fixed or floating viewport. For feature alignment, when scan point clouds share common features, the feature alignment can be chosen. This method can minimize error between model and the original data. The software will automatically conduct alignment according to the features of data. For manual alignment, press Shift and left mouse button to select no less than three non-collinear points in each of these fixed and floating viewport, respectively. Click Apply to Align. If the object has markers on it and the number of shared markers in two projects is not less than three, then you can use marker alignment. After finishing alignment, click Exit for post-processing or click Next to continue alignment if you have more than two projects. And that's all for today's lesson. Hope you learned something and thank you guys for watching.